Hello viewers, here is a set of VTAC 5.8 GHz cordless telephones. This is model 6773 and this is going to be the final checkout video after the repairs. This was the set that I took uh, out of the really disgusting set. I took the internals out and put it into this, uh, these cases here which contained uh, a mismatch set between the handsets and the base so it wasn't usable and after I did that I had to do some repairs on the buttons because they weren't 100% and I also had to do some repairs on the screens unfortunately the screens were very difficult to fix and even right after the repair there was still a few problems with the screens now it's several days later and there's a few more issues developing the screens for the most part are okay. You can see there's a couple of deadlines. The H on the handset isn't right. And um, on this one there is a line forming on the top top row of pixels. And this one it's got a two or three deadlines. Sometimes you can get all of those out, sometimes you can't. Unfortunately this time couldn't but the screens are still readable you can still read what's on them and so for now it'll be fine if it keeps deteriorating maybe someday I'll try to fix it again but for now this is good enough so let's begin by bringing it up and see how everything works that was awful that one doesn't sound too good battery cover must be loose or something okay let's try that again that's better caller ID is working is missing a pixel. This is missing a few pixels in the date and time, but this, you know, I can't fix it. At least not within any reasonable amount of effort. Okay. I guess the answering machine is not on. Check out the buttons here and make sure those are working. It's a bag on line and the Okay, I'll grab a different handset. Okay, and the handset number three. It's got a little battery tag on it. Okay, so that is all working. One of the things I always thought was neat about this system was that it played a sound when another handset came on. I'll turn the handset on now and turn it off. I don't know why it's saying parallel set. There is not parallel set. That's just blatantly inaccurate. Okay. Whoops. It wouldn't be a video without a freak show. Okay. Answering machine on. Monday, 12.09 a.m. 2018. To set date and time, press time that Monday. 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, 12 a.m., 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m., 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 p.m., 0, 9, 0, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 2018, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2030, 2031, 2032, 2033, 2034, 2035, 2036, 2037, 2038, 2039, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Saturday, 3.40 p.m. 2020. Report outgoing message. You have reached the home of Paul and Beverly we are unable to answer the phone at this time. Leave your number and we'll call you as soon as possible. Thank you. Report outgoing message. You have reached outgoing message. Deleted. Report outgoing message. Hello. I'm unable to answer your call right now. Please leave your name, number, and a message after the tone. Report outgoing message. Set security code. Set audible message alert. On. Off. Set announce only. Off. Set base ringer. On. Set number of ring. Four. Six. Tool saver. Report outgoing message. Hello? Please select mailbox. 
Now recording. This is a test. One, two, three. End of recording. Answering machine off. Answering machine on. I don't think there's a way to turn the call screen off, so I'll just lower it all the way. Hello, I'm unable to answer your call right now. Please leave your name, number, and a message after the tone. Geese honk. Geese honk, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Today it's cold out. All right, now we'll record a custom greeting and call again. Oops. What happened? Set security code. Report outgoing message. Now recording. The microphone is on the bottom, not on the top, as it would lead you to believe. The microphone is on the bottom, not on the top, as it would lead you to believe. <laughs> Mailbox 2. You have this is the one memo. new message. Saturday, 3.41 p.m. This is a test. One, two, three. End of messages. Please select mailbox. All old messages deleted. Mailbox one, you have one new message. Wednesday, 12.15 a.m. Peace Funk, Peace Funk, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. That sounded weird. Wednesday, twelve, fifteen. It's like a digital error there or something. Peace Funk, Peace Funk, one, two. Wednesday, twelve, fifteen, eight, nine. Peace Funk, Peace Funk, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Today it's called out. <laughs> Message deleted. End of messages. Okay, I'll call again. I'll try to put it into mailbox number three. on the bottom, not on the top, as it would lead you to believe. Mailbox 3, now recording. Mailbox 3, now recording, with feedback. Should have turned that off. I don't know why I didn't do that. Let's try again. I also had the call screening on, so the whole thing was kind of a fail. on the bottom, not on the top, as it would lead you to believe. Mailbox 2, now recording. Now recording with less feedback, hopefully. Goodbye. Gee, why isn't this hanging up correctly? The, uh, Mailbox lights are pretty visible, but the power indicator is not at all. Even with the lights off, it's still kind of hard to see. Hold on, the volume's all the way down. Mailbox 2, you have one new message. Wednesday, 12, 19 a.m. Now recording with less feedback, hopefully. Good boy. 
the time is wrong because the simulator sends 12 o'clock when I plug it in. That's why it's off. It's probably keeping time Mailbox just fine. Three. You have one new message. Wednesday, 12, 18 a.m. Mailbox 3, now recording. End of message. Mailbox 3, Please select mailbox. All old messages deleted. Okay, let's. Um, I'll call up and leave some messages on the test answering machine now. This is a test on speakerphone. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a test on regular phone mode. Goodbye. All right, that was handset number one. Let's do handset number two. Volume control is working. This is handset number two on speakerphone. This is handset number two off speakerphone. Okay, and handset number three is working. Doesn't sound too good when it first starts up. Okay, oh, uh, there. The automatic gain control wasn't the greatest. Hey. I've always found these telephones to have very good pickup. It's saying parallel set again. I don't know why. There's certainly no other phone. Testing, testing. I think perhaps the voltage the simulator puts out is not quite as high as regular line. And so it thinks there's a parallel set, perhaps. I don't know. That's just my, my speculation. Okay. Three new messages and two old messages. Message one. This is a test on speakerphone. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a test on regular phone mode. Goodbye. Message two. This is handset number two on speakerphone. This is handset number two off speakerphone. Message three. I've always found these telephones to have very good pickup. It's saying parallel set again. I don't know why. There's certainly no other phone. Testing, testing. I think perhaps the voltage the simulator puts out is not quite as high as regular line. And so it thinks there's a parallel set, perhaps. I don't know, that's just my, my speculation. End of messages. That sounded very good. Actually, I think it sounds a little bit better on speakerphone than it does on on talk mode, or I think it calls it phone mode. These phones, as I said in the message, I've always found these have an exceptional pickup. And I've used these on speakerphone many many calls and nobody ever has any complaints about the fact that the phone's on speaker so that that's definitely one thing I'll give this set it performs really well as a handset speaker phone okay I'll switch this over to the mains 
and we'll make some calls. And I guess we'll just make one call perhaps. I don't know if that's breaking up. The phone is breaking up, or the the um, my service. Well, we are eager to I guess I to, find out. to experience a new tasting menu for 2020, featuring delicious wines. If you have not visited our winery before, that's it is at our Homestead Farm all. location, which is at 606 Walnut Tree Hill no, Road in Shelton, Connecticut. I think that was probably the service. For the signage at our main barnyard entry, adjacent to the greenhouse. Walk straight along the gravel into the barnyard towards the largest red barn with the Jones Winery sign at its peak. That is our historic dairy barn from the 1800s. Sounds pretty good. Let's check the earpiece. Let's do hand set number two. Playing card to note your visits between our opening day on Friday, March 6th through Sunday, May 3rd, with the culmination of a drawing for some great prizes from those that visit the winery three times during that period. Detailed rules for the contest are on our website. Another note about the speakerphone. I find it very loud on these. Uh-oh. That's not working. Unless it ended. Did the call end? No, it didn't end. Jeez. View our website, jonesfamilyfarms.com, as the helping reference to answer your questions. You can subscribe to our email list and stay aware of upcoming offerings about the farm. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to go in here and, and figure out why the why the um, whatever that's called isn't working. Okay, we're back. Handset number two has been repaired. So I want to go through and check this thing all over again and make sure it's still completely working. So I will record a message with this telephone. Okay, that is working, and the rest of the buttons seem to be functioning just fine. Let's play back that message and make sure it's transmitting. One new message and five old messages. Message one. A. Goose. End of messages. Okay, that is definitely working. Go to the mains and we'll dial out. Good afternoon. 
Looking for the closest bank? It's in the palm of your hand when you download our mobile banking app. People's United Bank N.A. Member FDA. Saturday, March 7th. People's United Bank. Time, 441. Current temperature, 41 degrees. Mostly clear sky through Sunday. High today, mid-40s, with a north wind gusting to 30. Low tonight, middle 20. Sunday's high, low 50s. Okay, so that is working as well. And now we have an operating set of VTEC 6773 telephones.